Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Clark Kent, and um, we actually don't have a name. I just I just thought about this. We don't have a name for you, but this is my wife. We want to go by anything. Coach, Coach here. I'll stay with Coach. All right, so go with Coach. Um, so this what is on the shirt. Sorry. Okay. So Clark Kent and Coach. Um, this is actually the first show for uh, two stories and a word. That that is the name of the show. Two stories and a word. Uh, two stories, basically local or national stories that we come across that we just want to talk about a little bit. And then uh, maybe, well, nine times out of ten, we'll try to make it humorous. Not humorous, but I don't want to talk about... It won't be boring. It won't be boring. You know, we'll talk about, you know, fun things. Try to keep it fun, you know. So for the family. Yeah. The husband and wife. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Husband and wife. The kids. Stuff. The kids. For friends, get together. You know, for somebody. Discounts. Yeah, discounts. Things, deals. 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 Things that people do crazy or. But no, I don't really want to talk about too much war and, and craziness. But we do want to keep you informed mm -hmm. about things going on, like in Jerusalem and places that like totally outside the box. So, um, so that's so welcome to two stories and a word. First show. It's like a pilot. So. Um, yeah, so this is cool. Me and, me and the wife here kind of coming together doing this thing and it should work. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Well, the first story, of course, I want to talk about Ferguson real quick. Uh, Mike Brown, the whole Ferguson mm -hmm. uh, shooting. Sad. Very sad, man. You know, and obviously people are thinking all type of, of uh, different thoughts as far as the Mike Brown Ferguson mm -hmm. they're they're thinking you know racist cop they're thinking Mike Brown why you know aggressive young man they're thinking these these angry people has to have a better way to demonstrate nonviolence mm -hmm. violence um, my view on it is that police officer mm -hmm. And I've taught my kids, and I'll continue to teach my kids to respect authority, but also know your rights. Mm -hmm. That police officer will have to live with the guilt if he did, in fact, ki kill him innocently. If he did it, if that he officer... He has to live with that. Yeah, if that officer killed Mike Brown, not, and I know some people will be like, if, what do you mean, if Clark Kent, he did it. But, you know... I went there, you weren't there. Right, exactly. Nobody was God there. God is the last judge. I know, oh, bring in religious into it. But in the end, he will be the judge of that man. Yeah, exactly. He'll have to live that for the rest of his life, regardless of, of right or wrong. Um, was Mike Brown aggressive that day? Uh, did Was Mike Brown on a robbing spree? What, I don't know. I'm just saying there's a lot of things going on. So, so once again, um, there's a picture, actually. You won't be able to see this, but if you want to see it, you can go to the Clark Kent Experience. Okay, that's the Clark Kent Experience on Facebook. And Clark does have an E on the end. C L A R K E. E, yes. And I'm going to post a picture of a, a photo of a cop hugging a boy at the Ferguson protest. Um, just a real powerful moment. You know, trying to put a swing on some things. You know, not all cops are bad. Some, you know, my dad was a detective for 25 years, great cop. Great detective, great guy. So there are great people out there that are in law enforcement. So that picture will be up. Very, it's a real emotional picture. You got to see it. So go to the Clark Kent Experience on Facebook and check out this photo, also too. So that's one of our you know national stories we wanted to cover with that one. What else do you got for us? Well, um, we all know about Black Friday and Black Friday shopping, and um, not to worry if you miss the Black Friday shopping and the madness of Black Friday, mm -hmm. there is um, something called Cyber Mondays. Mm. And I found something that was, you know, screen deals. And it was just telling me um, different stores that will have the most, say, like electronics on sale or different products and who would have the best. Um, best Buy right now is kind of in the lead with that, um, with having the most, say, like electronics right. on sale um, for home and family. Biggest average discount would be Home Depot. Again, most number of products on sale would be Best Buy. Of course. Clothing, most number of products on sale. Nordstrom, Kohl's. I love Kohl's. JCPenney. Um, JCPenney is a little bit overpriced, but I mean... 
They, yeah. they revamped it, and I mean, you have to look, because my mom, I mean, there are a couple of friends I love, they love pennies. That's what they call it. Pennies. But, yeah, no. pennies. The nickname. Like I mean, pop, soda. Never say soda. Never say pop. pop. It's strictly soda. On this show, it is soda. But they, they, yeah. they have, you know, if you want to check it out, they, they have um, quite a few deals. If you want to just let your fingers do the shopping mm -hmm. instead of being me personally, I'll stay out of the stores Black Friday. Yeah, I don't like Black to Friday be crazy. punched in the face. Um, I can't go to jail. I'm too pretty for jail. Too pretty for jail. Sanitizers won't be available at Free Will in jail. So I, 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 <laughs> I, I just, you know. But, you know, that's just a couple for those of us who prefer to stay home and, you know, go shopping. Exactly. That's good. That, that's good. That's good conversation. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Also, too. Hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving. So Cyber Mondays, uh, some deals you may have gotten. If you find it cheaper, take it back, you know, and go cyber shopping, you know, and see what happens. So, so Ferguson and, and, you know, like I said, peace be out there. Peace be still. And, um, and with the whole Cyber Monday thing. Uh, after Thanksgiving, you know, take advantage of that. So, these two national stories, uh, basically, researching. More information will be on the Clark Kent experience also, too. Everything will be on the Clark Kent experience, I promise you. So, uh, with all that being said, now it's time to get into the word, the uplifting part of the show. So, what do we have today? Well, I like to encourage, as we go through things, there are other marriage co married couples that go through things as well. So Absolutely. it's always good when I come upon something that could benefit other, you know, whether you're looking to go to the next step in marriage or you're in your marriage and you also want, not that we're experts, but you know what, we yeah. go through stuff and other people go through stuff. So it's good to share instead of put up this front like we don't go through anything. Absolutely. You know, and that encourages someone. Absolutely. Now, the most dangerous way to live in a marriage is anger. Who's talking about? No. I mean, just <laughs> anger between us, not being able to talk about anything. And people in bad marriages have a shorter lifespan because stress, anger built up leads to you getting sick all the time or you don't have energy or anything like that. So, you know, here's how to deal with anger in your marriage. First, don't deny it. I mean... You should be able to be real and right. not try to cover up and put this face on all the time that you're good. No, I mean, the anger part is something that, you know, I've always been transparent. I've always worked at that, you know. Um, that's all I knew, you know, being angry as a man, getting angry. We tend to get angry quick. And um, I'm, to this day, I'm still working on it, but it has gotten a thousand times better. And every day with God, just trying to work on it you know, work on that part my, of the marriage. My thing is, allow your spouse to be angry. Mm -hmm. Don't get, you know, don't try to dwell on it, but at the same time, it has to be a healthy environment where I can be angry, you'll allow me to be angry, I'll allow you to be angry, give you that space, and then we could come together again and, and try to hash it out. Right. The next step is, don't get defensive. What? You, <laughs> you want a healthy marriage where you're not on the defense all the time that I can come to you and knowing that you will listen with, with an open mind and recognize certain things that you might need to change in, my, in myself as well as you come to me with certain things. But it's not helpful when you're the problem. It's not me. It's you. I don't have the problem. It's you. It's, it's, it's really comforting for a woman to know that I can go to my husband with anything and him not put up this wall of defense. Well, I, and, and just to talk about that real quick, you know, number one thing is trying to, like she said, not saying that she was, she was, she, but work on, work on you. You know, everything is going to work out if you work on you. Don't look so much into what's going on in her life. And it's, it's hard. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that. I'm not, it's not doing anything until you start doing it. Right. It is hard. And like, once again, we're not on here. We're just exposing things that we have dealt with, that we dealt with, deal deal with, with. And, and, and go through. Right. So it's not, once again, look at yourself. And as you look at yourself, then... Letting God change you. Right. Then it will be healthier because as you begin to realize, as he begins to change, I can't get on him for anything, well, as much, mm -hmm. because he's changing himself. So what else do I have to argue about. Now, the last part that I, I 
two of the last things that I like is don't let anger age. That's that's right there. That's that is huge. Every time the Bible would say, "Don't let the sun go down on your wrath," I'm like, so I, I'm still mad at him, but I can't go to sleep still being mad at him. Like I gotta resolve it before I go to bed. Like, come on. But no, it's saying don't let it fester. Yeah. Resolve in your head that, hey, we are having a discussion, an argument, a debate, whatever you want to call it. You guys are not seeing how to eye to eye. Right. Yeah. Right. Your head's a button at this point. But you know what? We're going to set a time where we can hash it out. We could come together and say, okay, this is how I felt. This is how you made me feel. This is what I thought. Maybe perceptions were off. Maybe, right. you Some, know, something, something was, just, was something off. Something was off. And the bottom line is, trust me, once again, working on that. But don't hide your anger. It like, will turn toxic. Don't let the anger age. Right. The last part, crazy. don't stonewall. I do this a lot. This is when communication shuts down. Don't ask me about the kids. Don't ask me about dinner. Don't ask me about food. Don't ask me about bills. Don't ask me about nothing. A marriage with no communication is really not a marriage. It's not. It's not. It, the, the, I think the, the less that you communicate is greater the opportunity for separation. I mean, it is. I mean, you sometimes you go a week without talking. Now, you can function right. and not talk. Right. Bills paid. Yeah. What we gotta do? Nothing. Laundry done? You did it. Done. We could function and, and communicate, but it, it's a it's a deeper level to communication. So once again we've been there and once again we've gone through that, we've dealt with it and deal with it. You know, so we just decided to say, Hey listen, let's let's be transparent as a couple. Because we want to be functional. Functional pa families work. We're honest, we lay it out, we hash it out, and at the end of the day, we are like God, be the center of this marriage, this relationship, mm -hmm. because without that center, you're John in the flesh and Keisha in the flesh, not going to work. Yeah, it definitely won't work, you know, throughout the many mistakes I've made in my life and have made and make, you know, and she's basically stuck it out and, and put up with me. Um, and But we're both a work in, 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 in progress, right? In process, what is it? Work progress. In, work, work in progress. So still a work in progress. Um, so that's it. So that's the. So that's basically the breakdown of the show, right there. You got it in a nut. Is is two stories. A nutshell. a nutshell. You got it. See the communication. It's already working. We're communicating, but it's two stories, and a word. Try to have healthy communication. If you can't communicate without yelling at that point, separate for a little bit. You go to your room, you go to the living room, and then come back together when you guys could talk without yelling. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree. So, um, but yeah, so, and at every show also, too, we, we want to really shout out, we want to get the artists involved. So, once again, um, if you have a video and it represents the kingdom of God, okay, I got a lot of videos and music from people that it's not godly, seriously. <laughs> And I'm just saying, if it, even if it's po even if it's positive, I'll give it some shout and some shine. But make sure you send all videos and all music to the Clark Kent Experience at gmail.com. That is basically the E on the end of Clark. You cannot forget the E. So the Clark Kent Experience at gmail.com. Um, this show, I want to shout out my man DJ Sean Blue, who has an amazing. Thanksgiving gift. It's a uh, Thanksgiving mixtape. It's called Grub Mix featuring DJ Sean Blue, of course, and DJ I Rock Jesus. So shout out to those guys. Go to the Clark Can Experience on Facebook. You can download it there, okay? So with all that being said, you know, just be good. Work on your relationship. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. So every Saturday... We'll try to have a show out for you guys. So today is actually Saturday, and next Saturday will be another show. So thank you for watching, spending a little time with us. Any emails, comments, or whatever, send your emails over to the Clark Can Experience at gmail.com. All right, peace out.